All right, hi everyone, I'm Ian. Uh, I'm here to talk about some uh, a change that was made in TypeScript 5.0 that added support for custom resolution flags. So starting off, what do we mean by module resolution? Uh, assume you have an import like this where you're importing foo from foobar. TypeScript needs to know what the type of foo is so that it can check your program and make sure you're using it correctly. Uh, and in order to do that, it needs to find the foobar module. And depending on the module system you're using, there could be different rules for, for uh, locating that and, and finding the file, uh, finding the types. And the module resolution setting is what tells it how to do that. Uh, if you are interested in module resolution and, and learning more about it, uh, I have a video that's called a horrifically deep dive into TypeScript module resolution. I encourage you to check that out if you are willing to spend an hour of your life learning about module resolution. So what is it that changed in 5.0 that we're gonna talk about? Uh, 5.0 added a bundler module resolution option, uh, which there's another video for you can check out. Uh, but you know, bundlers can work differently from one another, right? Some have features, others don't. Not everyone supports the uh, exports maps or imports maps or, you know, so like how is TypeScript going to support all of these different kinds of bundlers when they all have different features? And that's where they added these configuration options. So you can tweak the way that TypeScript works to match your bundler that you're using. So the first, option we're going to talk about is allow importing TS extensions. And this allows you to import uh, with a .ts, .mts, or .cts. So MTS is for ESM, CTS is for CJS, uh, and .ts, if you use that, it'll depend on what your uh, type is set to in your package JSON. So you, know, you might be wanting to write an import like this with import foo from you know, foo.ts. Uh, you can do this now, but it only works if you're not generating your JavaScript using TSE, not using TypeScript. Uh, because if you are, then you need to import .js because that's the file that TypeScript is going to generate for your project. And, and TypeScript is not going to change .ts or .mts when it runs into the file that it creates. It just doesn't rewrite those import uh, statements. Uh, so you need to sort of use the end end result. Uh, but if you're using you know, the bundler resolution flag uh, or, uh, or you're just doing something else and you're not using TSC, then, then you can set this flag. It does default to false. So if you want to do this, you have to set the flag yourself. Uh, the next flag is allow arbitrary extensions. So if, if you set this flag, it will look for a type declaration file that's sort of based on the file that you're importing. So say, example, you're, you're using uh, CSS modules and you import from you know, a CSS file, right? Uh, JavaScript doesn't know what to do with this, right? But, but you might have a bundler that supports this syntax and it maybe is going to generate some type definition files because you want to make sure that the styles you're importing, like you don't use a style that doesn't exist, right? Uh, and so you can do that and, it, and it'll look for a app.ds or .d.css.ts. You could kind of do something like this before uh, by just adding .d.ts to the end of your file name. Uh, it kind of works, except that it actually gets interpreted as a definition for a .js file, right? Like, it just so happens that it sort of like falls back and finds that, uh, but it doesn't work in Node 16's ES modules because all of those have to have extensions. So you would have to put the like actual, you know, app.css.js, but that file doesn't really exist. So that all sort of got wonky. Uh, it's better to set this flag, and, uh, and if you do that, then everything will be great. These two other flags kind of go together, so I've grouped them here. Uh, resolve package JSON exports and resolve package JSON imports. And what that does is it looks in your package.json for these, you know, either exports or imports maps uh, when it's trying to look for, uh, look for uh, you know, modules. Uh, these are fairly new features that were added in Node 12. Um, 
at least exports was. Imports may have been a little bit later. I feel like that's more recent, but I don't know for sure. And those default to true in sort of the modern modes for uh, modular resolution, either you know, node 16, node next, right now they're the same thing, uh, or the bundler option. And lastly, custom conditions. This is also related to exports and imports in your package JSON. Uh, you know, in those, you can specify a list of conditions. So you can say, oh, if this file gets required, you know, if you're using CommonJS, like supply this CommonJS file. Or if you've you know, imported this file, if you're using import, then I'm going to give you this ESM file, this ES module. Uh, there are also other uh, conditions. So there's node uh, that is on by default for node 16. Uh, and then uh, you can also have custom ones, like I've seen browser or web worker or other various custom uh, exports or imports conditions. Uh, and you can add them using this flag with an array, and it'll just like add those onto whatever your, your uh, module resolution mode supplies by default. So this is just one of the changes in TypeScript 5.0. Uh, there are several others that we have videos for here at Michigan TypeScript. Uh, so check those out. There's a, a talk that I just gave for Module Resolution Bundler. So if you're curious about that, check that one out. Uh, I also gave a talk called a puppy-themed crash course on type imports, TypeScript type imports, uh, that I talk about the verbatim module syntax. That one's a really cool flag that you'd want to check out. And, uh, and, and we have a talk coming up on enums. So read the 5.0 announcement post for all the details on all of these. And are there any questions? Awesome. One thing, uh, they talked about trying to maybe make these like grouped or like a hierarchy of all of these flags, because there's going to be a lot of flags in TS config right now, right? Um, and they, they sort of like push that off. Like maybe eventually they'll start trying to group these, but I think it's a little bit complicated. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What what is it that you like do on a daily basis that makes this sort of intense scrutiny of how module resolution works important? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so weird, Ian? <laughs> no, honestly, like it really just confused me at one point of okay. like how it all worked and I kept getting these errors. I'm like, why is this happening? Like, like my code that I was generating worked and yet TypeScript was saying like, I can't find this. I was like, what is going on here? It was when I was working on the uh, storybook code base and like things were not matching up. And it was actually like the imports and exports thing. I was using, you know, the node module resolution and like it couldn't find imports and exports. Uh, and, and I, it kind of like sent me down the rabbit hole of, of trying to figure out why that is. And then I kind of pigeonholed myself by creating that deep dive video. Uh, and now I feel an obligation to talk about module resolution uh, whenever <laughs> I can. That's fun. Thanks. <laughs> yeah.